out of the more than 1,300 statues, monuments, plaques, memorials at Gettysburg National Military Park, 40 honor Confederate soldiers who fought there. A provision of one of the budget bills that passed the House this summer would remove, in very sweeping and broad terms, Confederate monuments from National Park Service sites across the country, including at Gettysburg. I do believe that if people have committed treason against the United States of America, their statues should not be in the Capitol. The president has clung very closely to the issue of protecting Confederate statues and monuments and has ramped up his language and his efforts to protect those monuments on federal property. Fort Bragg, Fort Robert and Lee, all of these forts that have been named that way for a long time, decades and decades But the military and says they're excuse for me, this. Excuse me, I don't care what the military says. I do, I'm, I'm supposed to make the decision. Voters have warmed to removing statues after the police killing of George Floyd, an unarmed black man in Minneapolis. The public response to the killing of unarmed black civilians in America is tied to the issue of Confederate monuments. The folks making a lot of noise are the battlefield guides who work at Gettysburg. They are adamant that they can present a full story and they can talk about how the South erected monuments after the war to paper over, dodge away from the core root of the war, which was of course slavery. Ultimately, the bill and a lot of the arguments around it are part of a fuller discussion the country's having right now. It seems unlikely that the bill will become law since the Senate is unlikely to pick it up. <laughs>